In the last video, we saw how we can leverage the Spring AI framework with Olama by deploying a local LLM model using the Phi3 model. In this video, we are going to see how we can leverage Azure OpenAI with Spring AI. Let's get started. I'm inside the Azure portal. I have right now selected the Azure AI services and within Azure AI services, I have OpenAI selected. There are tons of options here within the OpenAI. I'm going to show you how you can create a Azure OpenAI resource and how you can deploy a model within that resource. We are going to leverage the Azure OpenAI Studio for deploying the models within the Azure OpenAI resource. So I'm going to create a new OpenAI resource um, called as I'm going to reuse the existing resource group. I'm going to deploy it in the East US region. And I'll also name this particular as OpenAI example. The pricing tier, I'm going to select it as default standard zero. I'm going to create this resource. Here in the next step, we can allow a specific set of IP address to access this particular resource. I'm going to create a universal resource so that I can access it easily. If you are creating one, just make sure you have these controls in place. I'm just reviewing my um, resource configuration, whatever I have mentioned here, and I'm going to create it. In the background, Azure is going to create a new deployment with the Azure OpenAI resource in it. Let's wait for the deployment to get completed. Then we can jump onto the Azure OpenAI Studio to create a deployment or in fact to deploy a model within that particular Azure AI resource. So the deployment is completed. Now we can go to the resource directly. If I click on go to resource, this will take me to the OpenAI example resource which we created. And uh, this is of type Azure OpenAI. We can directly jump onto the Azure OpenAI Studio here. So when I click on the go to Azure OpenAI Studio, it just opens the Azure OpenAI Studio. Here you can see different options. You can see chat completions. If let's say you want to have completions, you can select a specific deployment and you can use specific examples, right? Right now, if I go to the deployments, I can see the different AI models which are deployed in the Azure OpenAI Studio. So let me go to the deployments and create a specific deployment. So the moment I click on new deployment, I'll be asked to provide a model. I'm going to select a GPT-3.5 Turbo model. I'm going to select that. I'm also selecting the deployment type as standard. The deployment name, let's give it as um, tp-demo or tp-example. Right, so that's the deployment name which we are creating. And I'm just going to create a new deployment. That's it, I have the default configuration. This is going to create a new deployment within the Azure OpenAI Studio. And we can leverage this particular deployment in our code. So this is going to be the GPT-3.5 version and there are specific versions of the model. There is specific capacity. I, right now I'm not worried about the limit and things like that. So I just created a model and I'm going to use it in my Spring application. Now, meanwhile, let this model uh, keep running and we can also look the model information by clicking on this particular uh, model. You can see um, there is an option to Talk to this model using the playground. You can click on open in playground and then you can talk to this particular deployment, right? Meanwhile, if I need to connect to this particular um, model from my uh, local, I need to connect it via the end endpoint. Let me go back to the portal. Now in the portal, you will be able to see uh, the endpoints using which we can access our open AI resources. So let me look at that. So if you see here, there is an endpoint option. So you can look at the keys, you can look at the endpoint here. So we are going to use this particular endpoint and I will also copy the key while uh, coding in the project. Now let me go to the Spring Boot initializer and let's create the project here. I'm going to use the latest version of Spring Boot. I'll use the Spring Maven project, language is uh, Java. I'll name this as com, tech primers. My artifact is going to be, uh, let's say, Azure Open AI example. I'll just name my packages as ComTechPrimers Open AI, right? I'm going to use the Java 17 version, JAR. 
I'm going to add the dependency for web because I'm going to expose some web endpoints. I'll also add Azure um, OpenAI support as well, right? There is also Azure Search. If you see, if you are interested in uh, knowing how to use Azure Search um, AI Search, let me know. We can try that as well. Uh, meanwhile, we can just select the Azure OpenAI right now, and I'm going to create the generate option. Let me open this project in IntelliJ. So I have the project open in IntelliJ. It's just loading. Let me maximize this and see. So these are just the default classes which we have. And I'm going to create a new um, controller called as the Azure OpenAI controller. So the endpoint, I'm just going to mark it as risk controller because we are going to expose this endpoint. And also I'm going to add some request mapping because I want to access this um, API. So I'm just going to say open AI. Um, also, we need to connect to the open AI um, models, right? So we need to connect to the endpoints and we need to use those um, variables and then access uh, or maybe prompt these um, open AI APIs. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use um, Azure open AI chat model. So that's the class which we need to use. Azure Open AI chat model. There are different options, of course. There is a chat model, there are chat options. I'll show the chat option as well, but meanwhile, let's use the chat model, right? Let's use the chat model. I'm just accessing the chat model here. Uh, and also, we need to inject this so that we can have this um, Open AI chat model injected. I'll also expose a get mapping so that I can just maybe say a hello uh, initially, right? So similar to how we did in the um, Spring AI video using the Olama, I'm going to use the same. I'm going to use the generation um, list. That is what we are going to return, uh, right? And uh, this is just a, let's say, let's call this as chat, right? So here, it's a simple thing. I am going to use the Azure OpenAI dot uh, call. So while calling, you can directly pro, uh, call the message. Right, you can provide a list of message, or you can uh, just uh, give a message, or you can write a prompt as well. So I'm going to use the call uh, prompt method. So let's do a prompt. Um, I'm going to say prompt. And in the prompt, I can just provide the message. I'm going to give the message, hello, I am tech primers. You are being used in a demo. Okay, so this is the same thing what we did in the previous video, in the Spring AI video. Uh, let me return something, right? So we need to return. So what is this response? So we are going to introduce the response, the chat response. Um, so the chat response has something called as get results, right? And that get results is nothing but the, um, the generation, right? So we are going to get the result of the prompt, whatever we are providing. This is just to test if it is working, right? Um, so that we can verify if we are able to interact with the Azure Open API, Azure Open AI. So, I'm going to provide some configuration information. These are the endpoints and the API keys which we need to add. So the configurations are Spring AI Azure OpenAI. That's the default. And we need to have API key. I'll provide the API key. We also need uh, to have the endpoint, right? So we'll have the endpoint. We also need the um, chat options. Right, so we are going to use the chat options, deployment, hyphen name, right? The deployment name, what we gave was, let's uh, see what did we give as the deployment name. Let me go to the OpenAI Studio. I'm going to go to the deployments and I should be able to see. So it's TP example, tech primers example. So let me use the same. Also, the endpoint is um, present here. Let me copy the endpoint. And I also need the API key, so I'm just going to copy the API key as well. So 
So I got the API key, I got the endpoint, um, I got also the deployment name, all these are done. Now I should be able to use the um, OpenAI chat model to be able to um, talk to the Azure OpenAI endpoint. Let's see if it is gonna work. Um, let me start this. So the application is up. Let me quickly bring my terminal. So we created an endpoint called as Open AI, and it was a get endpoint, right? So let me quickly check that. So we have an Open AI, and there is a get endpoint. That's it. So let's see what happens. Okay, awesome. So we got a response here, which is great. So we got a response from Open AI saying that, hello, Tech Primers, it's nice to be part of your demo. How can I assist you today, right? This data is now getting rendered from the Open AI um, uh, deployment here. So if let's say if I give a incorrect deployment name, right? Let me try that to verify things are working fine because usually things don't work fine in the first attempt, uh, right? So I'm also surprised here. Uh, so let's verify that, right? So I gave a wrong deployment name and let's see, uh, what happens here? Let me clear this out. And again, let's uh, try it. This time it should fail. So now notice here, we got an internal server error. That means something went wrong after we modified. So we know that our code is working, right? So what we did here is we changed the deployment name to TP example one. And let's look at the stack trace, what we got here. We got a exception saying deployment not found message the api deployment for this resource does not exist if you created the deployment within the last five minutes please wait for a moment and try again so this is clearly showing that the code what we wrote is perfectly fine and we gave an incorrect deployment name and that's working as well right now coming back to the ai controller let's also add one more endpoint to give some prompts right so we didn't do any complex prompt here let's try implementing a, a prompt template right so let's do that i'm going to use the same get mapping uh, don't use like this in production i'm just using it for the example here so let's use slash trending right i want to create a trending um, result let's say i want to know the top five trending destinations or top five um, top destinations right for vacation so Let's do the same. I'm just reusing the same. So instead of the prompt here, I'm going to use the prompt template. Um, so what I'll do, I'll create a prompt template. Um, prompt template. So we can give the message. Let's create the variable and let's add some prompts here. Meanwhile, I can do a prompt template dot create to create the prompt from the prompt template, right? So the return type is all same. Instead of trending, I think since I realize now it's going to be top five, I'm going to give top five. Let's do top five, right? Um, I would like to know the top five um, locations in top five destinations in India to visit in August, okay? So I'm saying that I would like to know top five destinations in India to visit in August, right? Let's see what um, we are gonna get. Let me restart this. So the server is up, let's go back here. Let me do a clear. And I'm going to do top five. So this should return top five um, destinations in India. So it says that as an AI language model, I do not have personal preferences, which is good. However, I can provide you with the top five popular destinations in India to visit in August. So it says Ladakh, August is considered the best time to visit due to the pleasant weather and blue skies, Goa. Uh, we also get Monar, Kur, and finally Udaipur, right? So those are the different destinations which we are getting for um, India. Now, imagine that I want to dynamically uh, change this location information, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
create um, or I'm just say country, right? So I'm going to say since this is a country, I'm just going to say uh, give me the country list, right? So I'm going to add country into the path variable, path parameter. So we are getting the country uh, which is passed dynamically and I'm going to pass that into my prompt. So I can predefine a prompt template and I can pass different variables in it. You can have a number of variables pro um, passed in here. So while passing the prompt template, I'm going to say map dot off, please map um, country with country, right? So, so we got country which is dynamically populated in the message and that is what is given to the prompt template and we are going to create a prompt from it and we are going to call the Azure Open AI chat model that's it so we are going to dynamically pass the country and let's see um, what we get right let's see this time I'm going to use um, Singapore let's see Let's see what locations do we get in Singapore to visit in August. I don't know if we can visit Singapore in August either, but yeah, so it says the same thing. I don't have personal preferences, but uh, based on the popular attraction, popularity and attractions, here are top five destinations to visit in Singapore in August. Gardens by the Bay, we are getting Sentosa Island. We also have Marina Bay Sands, Chinatown, and finally uh, Clark Quay, right? So this is good. This is how um, we can leverage prompts and using prompt template, you can um, templatize your prompts and you can pass it to the um, Azure OpenAI. So if you look at or if you compare this with the Olama's example, it's almost similar. Um, just the way we call Olama is slightly different and Spring Boot takes care of it and Spring Boot takes care of creating all these models and necessary libraries based on the dependency, whatever we added here, uh, which is the Spring AI, Azure Open AI, Spring Boot Starter, right? Uh, there are also other libraries which Spring Boot provides. Do let me know if you want me to make any specific video on any specific AI um, library. I can definitely show it as well. If you want to try the same, do head to um, Azure and you can create an account for free and you get a $100 credit and you can definitely use um, Azure OpenAI there. The cost is pretty less. Um, so I tried creating it a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, and I've been like running a lot of different um, prompts. I didn't uh, get charged more than 100 rupees or more than $1 or $2, right? So do try it out and let me know how it goes in the comment section below. If you want me to make any specific videos on any specific examples or use cases, do let me know as well. I hope you were able to understand how we were able to integrate Spring AI with Azure OpenAI. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.